Hello and welcome to some Be Open at Texas. It is New Texas, not Legacy Texas. So we've got the uh, turns one and two where you need to do lots of lifting off, potentially even a little bit of braking if you get later in a run. Might be a good idea. Just got uh, an OSR set in. However, it is an older OSR set from last year because they don't have one for this week yet. This is still, oh, excuse me, Monday night, fresh week, uh, trying to get racing done. So, excited to get some uh, racing in. So, uh, don't have the newest and greatest OSR setup, but at least we have a, or an, OSR setup. Much better than baseline. <laughs> at least you can say that. I added some tape to this thing, but I swear it's just making it more loose. That was horrible. I'm gonna just use this lap to get another run up. Hopefully the tires are gonna be warmer. Wow, so loose with this extra tape on it. I almost wish I didn't put that extra tape on it at all. Huh. a little better there. First lap was not good. I hope I don't have to rely on that. So I better make sure I get this corner right. That'd be smooth. I drove a little bit there, but I guess uh, brought it back a little. <laughs> so 36 to 31. And that's not the greatest, but I think that'll be a little bit better. Um, there's a number of people in here. There's a people, number of people uh, signed up. So we're going to our number five. See so what we can do with it. Ooh, 23 was a very solid qualifying. Looks like. We're way up there. 18. I got hit this as well. Man, we're falling back. Oh, shoot. I need to get off track because my water temperature is about to make this thing explode. But I uh, want to see if I can get around the track and do a green flag pit stop practice. This thing decides not to blow beforehand. Watch your speed. There you go. Yeah, pretty good. So hopefully we, if we uh, get the chance to do that We'll be okay. Not the worst pit road entry. And uh I feel like I can get in there pretty good. I'm sure there's people who can do it better, but it seemed to work for me. Don't know how my tires are gonna wear. They seem like they've been wearing the right rear a little bit more. The way I've been driving. But uh We'll see. The tape was at 60%. I'm putting 61% because I want to push the envelope. <laughs> if it blows up, I'm going to feel so stupid, but <laughs> what's 1%? I don't think it's going to make a difference. Um, got a handful of people still going here, still waiting on them. Oops. Not the greatest lap. It's not like we're huge, hugely off pace, though, or anything. My best is a 30 0 8 temperatures. That would have put us about seventh. But we're not we're not way off pace or anything. Two tenths is a little bit. But not terrible. So forty seconds left or these guys decide to ready up, but it doesn't look like it because there's plenty of people still. Doing nothing, I guess. Got ourselves a full field of 28. For B open anyway, that's pretty much full. Hmm. Now we're starting 10th. Should be interesting. Texas is usually a pretty good track for me, but 
Not sure how this one's gonna go. That's the end of the session. Turn to position. We will be heading out the track now. Do session. Last lap. We don't have that data. Alright, crew chief's working. We got the weird angled start here. For whatever reason. Ninety laps here today. And with our thirty second lap times. Should leave this to be about an hour long race. Depending on how many cautions we get. Hopefully we have a nice green flag race, but we'll see about that. Could get a bit messy like Kansas. If guys start running into each other. A lot of people don't like Texas. I like Texas though. Probably because it's a mile and a half, but <laughs> also uh kinda like how you know the corners are so different. People don't like turns one and two, but I kinda like how you have to let it off pretty good if you want to hit it right. And uh, three and four kind of got the opposite thing going on where you kind of try to push it as hard as you can without getting it sideways. <laughs> so one corner you're trying not to push too hard, you're trying to go easy, the other corner you're trying to go real fast. <laughs> That's something pretty fun about that. I always like uh, shooting it through yeah, turns three and four trying to keep the loose race car from getting sideways. And uh, hopefully we can prevent ourselves from getting sideways in this one too bad. Follow car number zero two in the outside column. Take a look. I imagine it's one to green, so we'll want to get in position as soon as we can. We'll be on the outside as the tenth spot, uh, tardy, tardy spot, starting spot. <laughs> it's very tart, lemony flavor for this 10th starting on spot. First gear start. Hmm. Looks like a first gear start, probably. Good luck, y'all. Of course, we can only really go as fast as the guys uh, ahead of us decide to go, so... Not putting anyone three wide unless they're just straight up not going at all. Hopefully we just have ourselves a nice, smooth start from everybody. Hopefully get some laps in. This car will be off here in just a moment. Going green. Alright, decent enough start. Two's taking it way soft in the turns one or two. Tell somebody the outside, that's interesting. I don't really want to be fighting this hard, but kind of am stuck in the outside, which is not my favorite. Where this 23 is going. Dodge whatever's going on there. Apparently we were three wide, and it looked like the guy got pushed up or something. Well, that was an interesting start to this one already. Oh no, someone lost connection. 
Well, let's settle in here and start thinking about long-term speed now. Well, some guys and wait for our opportunities. Man, we're checking up so hard. Are we really saving tires that much? Just not moving at all. Hmm, guy's getting real loose. That looked dangerous for a moment for that two going down hitting the apron like that. Like getting that uh, on those left sides, kind of near the white line down there. Exiting two. Twenty-four scare me up there. Maybe get all squirrely. I needs to pick a line. Stop swerving between lanes. but we should be able to get him. Entering three and four here. There we go. Alright. So starting tenth we have now officially moved to ninth after all that. P nine. Your last lap time was at thirty point seven. Being around all these other guys and having to kind of fight a little bit, really not ideal. However, looks like we're finally getting to a little bit of yeah, peace and tranquility, but I think I just have some smoke from somebody that's in front of us there. I think someone might have gotten sideways a little bit. That's kind of the opposite of peace and tranquility. <laughs> got two packs right now. I got that front pack and then this pack we're in here. here. Two's going putting the notes in. Potentially. I don't think he was able to get there though. Getting more stable now. Good early on. Two's got the nose now, it looks like. We might be able to follow him through. Spot because two opened the door for us. Ooh, a little bit tighter in three and four. Car on the wall. Let's 
trying not to overdrive it middle of the corner in one and two. I think that's where a lot of tie wear might end up coming from. It should be lighter in three and four as well. It does feel like it's kind of pushing when I exit four. I have to reconsider how I'm taking those corners. Hey, so far uh, so good though for an outdated OSR setup. Hmm. And it gets pretty scary out of turn four there if you start getting tight. The, lap time was at the, the wall will come and find you. Not careful. Very smooth there. a little bit smoother. Almost looks like the packs are kind of merging now. Starting to come together. Front pack and then the second pack. We've got a run on us and Pat is uh, passing us, so we'll let it go. Reason to fight him. It's gonna hurt both of us. So, uh, if he saved better than I did, I'll let him go. Hmm. I think uh, if we get it, if we uh, or when we get on our next run, I will reconsider how I'm taking turns three and four. I think. Uh, if I take, need to take it easier, that might be the play. Ugh. All snuck up on me. Good. I think that was the two car in the grass there. go take a wider entry into the corner that really helps the corner go smoother all right seems like there's a couple things I gotta smooth out in general whether it's smooth driving or just by uh, you go, approach to the corners I'm gonna, I'm gonna I think I'll be doing fight. a little bit better if I can get that figured out you've just done a that's one point tight So far so green though, loving that, as we uh, have just completed 20 laps. I think we got the three coming up on us and then we got a couple of second gap to the next, to the next further back, so. That's interesting. Like some guys are getting aggressive, maybe trying to get the nose on them there. Yeah, that looks like some blocking off the exit of the corner. That's not going to go over well, especially for sixth place this early in the race. That's just obnoxious. We're 
going to have to deal with this 12 too. Seems like. Seems like they're heading back this way. And they're fighting hard though. Now it's the, uh, the one and the four fighting hard. in there. Not what I wanted. Loose on exit. And then that hitting the apron just a tiny bit there kind of put me in a weird spot on track. <laughs> so I, had to, I found myself taking the corner a weird way. I was getting loose on the exit at two now. counter steer and prevent that looseness. So it does scrub off some time when I'm doing that nonsense. Drove that a little bit, not as smooth as I wanted to be there. Man, they look like they're like tapping each other in the back in front of us over there. They're really going hard. It's turning pretty well. It seems to be doing okay. It's just I feel like uh, I got some things to smooth out with my driving, for the most part. Got some things to figure out. So that doesn't seem the greatest, but I feel I don't think it's the thing that's holding me back most. I think I am the one holding me back most. Uh, three by or not? It was a, it takes it wide. I was gonna let him by. Guess I should have communicated. Looked like maybe he was planning on taking it wide there. <laughs> so that way he could get a run on me off of two, but didn't realize I was planning on. Do the same thing and got loose in front of me there. I'm not gonna retry to pass him though, because clearly he caught me. He's got much more grip out of the corner than I do right now. Oh yeah, that fuel entire thing. So we gotta start thinking about that. I see no reason. Well, actually, considering... I think I might pit a little bit earlier, because I feel like I better understand how to take care of the tires now. So I can have a more uh, successful second run. I think. So maybe I'll pit just a little bit early. Maybe lap 43. As of right now, I think that might be where I try to come in. Your lap time was 32.2. I just 
forgot what I was doing there for a moment. Forgot uh, how that corner works and what I need to do. Oh my god, this thing's getting real squirrely on the straightaways too. It always is a little bit, but I keep with the tires wearing even more. It's becoming a, an even bigger problem. Still a pretty good corner. The apron didn't help there. Didn't help our cause. <laughs> Still feel like it's a driver problem though. First and foremost. Not that we're having a terrible run, we're still in the top 10 in a large field. That's still pretty darn good, especially for a free, outdated setup. So, don't get me wrong, I'm feeling pretty good, but I feel like I could be doing better, you know what I mean? So we'll try uh, and see if we can in the next run. up there a little bit. Oh, what's happening with the 12? Oh my gosh. What happened? I didn't see what led them to start doing that, but they went to... Uh, from the bottom of the track all the way slid up and hit the wall hard. And see if maybe they got the apron and that's what set them off course so badly, but I messed up that corner. <laughs> and I overdrove it on entry and it kind of messed me up, but yikes. That was a pretty hefty hit. That's going to do something, I bet, to the way that car drives. Big or small, I don't know, but that's not good for it, that's for sure. It would be no room. I had a 10 mile an hour run. But we saw that from him earlier already. Get down below. We saw that from him earlier, being very aggressive, fighting for his spot for some reason. There he goes. Alright, glad to be by him. Let the 11 get to us though. Having to fight him. That's not too great. But back on our own again. Hopefully we can hit some better laps now. Oh, this thing's loose on exit. So loose on exit. I'd rather it be loose than tight, but I guess I'd rather it be balanced than loose. <laughs> Generally. Or at least just a tiny bit loose. <laughs> not so not so much loose. Fun to drive though. I'm having a good time. Saw on the wheel. Trying to counter steer on exit. Approaching the time I wanted to come in for fuel and tires. I said lap 43. I think I'll stick with it. This thing could probably go green for a while, I guess. 
There's always the chance they... Oh, there's always the chance that they uh, pit entry problems. But... I don't know. I'm going to stick to my plan. Ooh, wow. Getting messages about it. So, I'll apply some of what I learned to this next run here, and maybe have a better run, even though it'll be a longer run. Uh-oh. He's making the pass for the worst time. I guess I'll have to wait one more lap. Okay. Weird time for a slide job, but... Okie dokie. No problem. He's definitely just gonna let him go. We didn't need to overdrive the entry there. Return to position. I'm staying high, Lakers. Pitting in here. Solid. Is 45 miles per hour. Okay, we'll fill you to the end. Pit box team, 10. 5. 3. That's two, awesome, man. I appreciate you saying that in the chat. That's right here. Alright. Happy with the pit entry. And, uh, I think this is a good idea coming in right about now. We actually had to wait an extra lap, so we're pretty much halfway. Trying to be aggressive on the uh, exit. Hopefully, we're up to speed before the guy behind catches us. Looks like we should be. Remember, it's going to be loose here, probably. All right, let's get some laps done. We we'll, would we'll love it if this thing went green for sure. Half distance, fuel looks good. The gap behind has now decreased to 4.0 seconds. Hopefully, we can get through the field pretty good too. To start catching guys. Adams is leading the race. Remember it to be a little bit smoother. Three and four now. Hopefully, not lose much time getting around, guys. We're setting the pace. You've just done a 30.4. Uh. Get loose right in front of me. Come on, man. So much for that. Please get out of my way. Car outside. Clear. Car outside. Clear outside. You want so much for not losing much time. Like, he's in the way, I catch up to him, and then he decides to get loose. <laughs> Obviously, not. He actually decided to, but he picked the worst time for it. I'm like it's stuck behind him, so go figure. It seems like nothing until you realize that's go out here, John. Go hide. Hit him, hit him, a hit second him. I lost. Can people not see me? Can I? Am I invisible? Get out of the way when you've got a faster car coming. Jesus. Frustrating, man. What's the point of Fitting early if you're not going to get the benefit of the undercut. Gaining on this car, the gap is 
Alright, we'll see where this brings us. Shouldn't be too long before we're back on the lead lap. Some guys on pit road. So we came in what ninth? We'll see how it cycles out. Oh my God! You've got to be kidding me. Are we the lucky dog? For the lucky dog, then. For the lucky dog with the capital L. We love it. Yes. That means tires. Trying to get on pit road. Well, get put at the back of the field, bro. So that's not really good at all. Is that walk of shame, homie. I had a good race going. There's always one there. Your engine temperatures are now back to normal. Well, we gotta oh, kick that lucky dog. Crash, yeah. But at least we we'll get tires. Long green run going, and I mean, we've only got 38 laps to go now. Crash really big. Dell, they knew you needed to redeem the shotgun. I needed to not do the damn race. My nerves can't handle it. Smoke so weird, bruh. The leader, Adams. I don't want to get fired. Get to that 14. Go. I don't know this that. lap here. Alrighty, the lucky dog. Pass on the outside. Pass up 14. Pass up 20. Okay, so we're gonna get around. Get up 14. Gonna get two new tires. Sit right there. Oh, we almost hit. Oh, dude, I was saying, dude, you probably said that you're hitting and it completely escaped me. I didn't even like get it to almost like that. Oh, okay. Yeah, I did. I just, you know, I did it like uh, going into one, and then I did it going into three, so. But. Oh, I'm no foul. You probably would have kept me out of my misery and complete dog shit on this track. I'm not much better, man. I'm just trying to last. I've been wrecked out of two of them. I'm really sure exactly how this is going to be looking, but we're in the worst spot. I was in front to injury. I accidentally overwrote my qualifying setup. That's one of my race setups. And I qualified a half a second off of what I usually do. <laughs> I never qualify more of the way. You got loads of fuel. So we got fuel. I'm gonna put the tires on it. No, it doesn't matter. And uh, see where we end up. We're gonna end up at the back of the field. But I'm gonna be on the lead lap. And, uh,. I don't know what's tires. Uh, uh, going from practice to the race here, it's completely different. The temperature could be a factor. And uh, the rubber laid down, they don't carry over pits. all of it. Watch your speed, you've got plenty of fuel. Pit box team, 10. Five. We're going to have to be real careful coming from the back as the lucky dog. We're going to have much better tires than some guys, I think, that took the wave around. These tires weren't so bad. Okay, go! So we're going to have to be careful. You only have one tire set remaining. They want you in single file. But we should end up finding ourselves in a pretty good spot. Pass 
So it looks like... First of all, it looks like that guy maybe got a penalty or something. It's open. Are any of y'all coil mining your right rear? Looks like there's not very many people in the lead lap maybe no after that. Joke. I don't or know they still have to get their way around still, that's right. Next time by, because you're the lucky dog, you'll be line. held at the end of the longest line. Line up on the inside, left us six, carbide. You had the position when the yellow flag came out. This could get weird with all these way go, 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 guys. Yeah, they need to go. Uh, are you going to be okay here, Brock? Great, he's talking in front of me. Better you than me. Huh. It says we're still staying behind the six car. Do we not let these right, wave round guys go? go? Didn't hit the wave round. Be really careful. The tires suck. I mean, how much gas does he even have left? He's just, he's just having precaution, man. And he's probably going to be... More power to you, buddy. Yeah, I'll try to stay out of the way as best I can. I don't know where this guy is. Who they're talking about. It's like 11th or something? Good lord, this long-ass line. Green. Well, this looks a lot better than I thought it was, because even what though we're lucky dog, we didn't start way in the back. Right, just try to stay low, Brock. It's because we all have to be at the end of the longest line. <laughs> so that did work out pretty darn well. We are an eighth. We got as fresh as possible tires as we could have. Yeah, put it in there because he's going to leave wide open. I don't really don't like to bother unless they've, uh, unless I've got him alongside, but it looks like he was actually kind of letting it happen. He might have older tires or something. I don't know exactly how this worked out for everybody, but pretty, uh, pretty good for us. It's not a spot. So that guy. Still gotta try to remember to be nice to the tires too. Gotta keep that in mind. But uh, I think that all works pretty, pretty darn well for us when we decided to pit and getting the luckiest dog. <laughs> Everyone had to take the wave around, we're behind us. I didn't know if that's how that worked. But it means uh, I got the lucky dog and didn't even really need to start behind all too many people. It's pretty darn cool. So now we're in a pretty, pretty great spot. Love it. Oh, six getting tight. Something. We got yeah, loose and had to chase it. Either way, that's gonna get us on the inside. Which is us a bit. Unless he just were, seemed closer than he was. He's deciding to choose to fight hard. Deciding to choose. 
Man, he's fighting real hard. He's definitely pinching now. He wasn't before. Uh, we get it done. I really hope he doesn't do it again. Flipping moron. Clown. You want a slap fight for sixth, or do you want to try to actually finish better? Congratulations. We've accomplished nothing. Except burn our tires off a little bit more. Let the guys I had move away a little bit. Catching up to this 12, though. Oh, the 12's the one that destroyed the wall at one point, wasn't it? I wonder if maybe he got uh, the chance to fix some of that. So maybe he's not feeling the effects as much anymore. But I bet it's still there. Even if it's not quite as big a deal. Still doing something, maybe. Nice guy behind us. Outside. Get our nose on the 12 as well. After the 6 comes through, and we're going to get fought again. Okay. Not so much. Got a little bit closer to the wall there. Sixth place. Not that was at thirty-one point two. Think uh, being a little more gentle on three and four is helping. Us stay faster longer. I might still be driving a bit too hard, but at least uh, doing a little bit better than last time, I think. Hey, running sixth. Feeling pretty good. They're pretty darn close up, up there too, next to each other. That could get sketchy. They're all fighting for the win up there. I think anyone in that group could win. Still enough time, and they're still all close enough. There's no uh, one person running away from the race like there often is. Someone that's just got got it completely figured out. You usually get one guy running away, but not this not this time. It looks like there's about five major contenders there, and then. The uh, six and nine were not too crazy far off. Could be an interesting finish to this one. Mmm, my three wide. That's not working. I'm sorry, leaders. I just don't know how to get out of the way any easier. Oh, one of those is a lap car? Oh my god. Jesse, go up. Thank you. 
I thought everybody in front of us was uh, on a lead lap. But uh, upon, upon counting the cars, you can see that's not the case. We have an extra. We have an imposter in the group. <laughs> this guy does not seem to know how to be a lap car all too much. Like, it, is he gonna really look on the inside there? Okay, he did. I thought he was going to. P6. I don't know. Maybe I'm just being biased. Oh. Maybe I'm just being biased against lap traffic, but. Car outside. Keep low. Yeah. Go ahead and just Still compromise there. my entry for no reason. Thank you. Outside, clear. Been nice to get that, uh. Get the angle on the corner, but he says no. I've got to race hard for 24th whenever when probably no one's on my lap. Okie dokie. I, I, there's probably nothing for me anyway either. I don't know if I'm catching anyone ahead of me, and I think we're good behind us as well. This might be where we end up unless we get another caution, which I really hope we don't. We still got 15 laps to go. That's not the shortest amount of time that was on mile and a half. Okay, Colton, that's good consistency. Keep it up. So the uh, the two is driving away a little bit. It's got a couple seconds up there. I might have been, I might have not noticed before too. He might have been out there already. I, again, I got kind of confused by the lap car. I didn't know it was there. And anyway, that, uh, that group that was all together, they have all kind of split apart now. Kind of finding their own spots, looks like. Slow car, download, go high. Interesting. Otherwise, someone would be would need to be pitting in right now. Kind of just holding steady. We've got 0.7 in front of us. We got 2.7 behind us. I think the guy behind it might be catching a tiny bit, but he's really gonna have to get moving if he wants to catch us. And then in front of us, it's been pretty equal. It seems like we might gain a tenth one lap and then lose it back another. So we're pretty much just hanging even, it seems like, right now. That's my favorite. Let's hit the apron. Why don't we mess up the rest of the corner because of weird angles? That's what you want. I'm gonna get that loose feeling on the right rear. Yeah, this might be our spot. <laughs> I don't see anyone falling off crazy hard up ahead or anything. Take that corner weird angle again, why not? Got uh, some people coming together there for a second though. They could start Go battling and that could end up leading to something else. But now it looks like the guy is driving away.
We've got ourselves. What is it? Nine laps to go. Something like that. Yeah, I think six might be where we end up if it goes green. Five cars, right about where we're supposed to be. Slidey. I like the way I slowed down for that corner. That was a little bit more smooth and in the process of depressing the throttle. Kind of liked the way that felt. I can try to do that a little bit more. You better watch out though, that eight still still moving forward. Can't make any mistakes or he might find himself right upon us before too long. settled again. It's kind of reaching that phase of the run where it starts getting real loose. The lap time was at 32.1. I welcome that. It's fun to drive when it's loose like this. That's it's uh almost seems like we can reclaim a little bit of the lap times. If you can fight through the loose. It's turning in better. It's not really getting as much get up and go out of the corners because of the lack of grip. Let's just not bring out a caution, guys. That's all I ask. Finish this one with one weird caution that put us in a weird spot. And uh, finish this off otherwise green. That's a pretty good race, I think. Alright, that'll be three to go. That last light was at 32.1. Not much to say here, pretty much the same story. Getting slightly caught from behind, slightly watching the guy drive away ahead, but. Not enough that anything's going to change before the end of this one. I feel like uh, everything worked out pretty darn good. Pit strategy worked, even though we got the caution that we really didn't want, but being able to get the luckiest dog <laughs> put us in a good spot. And, uh, ain't feeling pretty good. Finishing just outside the top five. It's white flag, no more uh, cautions now. And if the guy behind gains 1.3 seconds in one lap, then they deserve to pass me because I probably did something dumb. Dumber than overdriving turns one and two like I just did. Though that wasn't exactly an Einstein moment. <laughs> Good race and good win. Okay, <sighs> that's the end. place. Love it. Nice run. Solid work.
Boo, boo, boo. Josh gets the win. Jacob gets the second. Both Adams, I wonder if they're related or not. Adams is a pretty Good common one, last name, though. Thank you. Good race, guys. We'll pull this on over. I can feel happy with that. I feel like I learned a little bit, too. That second run was so much better. The car felt so much better. It was a shorter run, too, but it still was feeling pretty darn good. So, kind of learned uh, how to take care of it a little bit better. Everybody else, like, wrecking loose in three and four, board and plowing tight, and one and two here. Or is it just me? 59 59. Can't get much better than that. All right. Even. Yeah, Tyler. So, started 10th, finished 6th. We were 10th before pit stop started. And that brought us to whatever it was, 7th or whatever, as the lucky dog. A lot of people got totally... Hey, Daniel, if you're plowing tight in 1 and 2, you might try to back in up your entry uh, a couple of car links that, that could easily be it. But, uh, what was I saying? Sorry, I, I was wanting to hear what he said. Um... But uh, we were like 10th or so, 9th I think it was before pit stops came out and we're 7th. So that was pretty good. That worked out pretty well. Lo oh, that's what I was going to say. Lots of people <laughs> got totally, uh, you know, fish out of water by that caution. Lots of guys lapsed down having to take the way around. And that was very unfortunate for them. But that's part of it when you get these uh, set of races. I was probably pretty close. I mean, I know I was pretty close to being one of them. I just happened to be the lucky dog, so saved us. Uh, not being on the lead lap. Let's take a look at the cautions, or the incidents, rather. Not all of them brought out cautions. In fact, only one thing brought out a caution this race, and it was someone going on pit entry, I believe they said. And uh, we'll be able to take a look at that and how that happened. Blink there. A wall there. Going on exit there. Ooh, that's a that's a hard hit. Yeah, that's how that wall sneaks up on you there in three and four. Like it even looks like you're doing okay for a while, and then all of a sudden you're not doing okay anymore. Hitting maybe on lap thirteen. That's interesting. Oh, that's a hard hit. Good cat. Taking off a piece of that Kit Kat car. <laughs> you got me. That was pretty clever. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's where the two went through the grass. I think I remember noting that. Up G the wall. Yeah, I like I like that scheme. I haven't seen a yellow car in a long time. That reminds me of like a one of the old waste management cars too, with the green. Those are pretty good classic schemes. That is not turning at all. This is whatever the 12. I want to see how this started, because I remember this is we were watching from back here. How he slid all the way up the track. I want to know what happened, how he ended up just not being able to turn at all. Obviously he was having a pretty good time before then. He just gets it on it too hard, and it's not turning for him, and then he doesn't give up on the corner <laughs> for too long, and it just brings him all the way up into the wall. Wow. Just, uh, he lost grip much faster than expected, maybe. That's how he ended up doing that. Taking the middle line at Texas, that's curious. Usually it's pretty one lane. You want to be on that bottom side. But you can uh, make some interesting moves around the outside on the on the starts and restarts. Like we were, we were racing a little bit at the very start of the race, even though I didn't really want to be. I was just trying to find a, a place to file in and thought maybe I could get around someone and then do it. I don't know why we're seeing me. Maybe tires getting old. It's right around time when uh, pit stops were starting and I remember I got the warning. hitting a tire. 50% mark. Team getting loose. Much going on here. 
We coming in for pit stops, lap 44. Whoa, that was close. Wonder if 17 announced his intentions or not. Sure, but the other guy almost got into him. So lap 45, we're going to be seeing that, uh, that pit road mishap for too long. For too long. Don't need to see all that. Tires getting old. Running in the wall. Hope I didn't uh, force him to do that. Looks like it looks to me like he was staying middle line. These guys were cool, and they uh, saw the faster car coming up and didn't cut down to the bottom lane. I really appreciate them for that. Sorry to the uh, 28 here if having to take that line made them hit the wall. I just had to go, you know? Anytime you're uh, sitting behind people, that's the clock ticking, you know? So. Gotta be safe, but don't want to waste a bunch of time either. Red Bull car. It's okay. I just tires. All of this is tires, I think. That's 17 on the wall. Oh, is this the spinner? It is. It is. Ah, uh, he was below the eight brand. Man, they didn't need to bring out a caution for that. I guess maybe it, because he's in front of the pit road, maybe that's a problem. Wow, he, he was down there really early, too. Is he off pace or something? That's... Oh, he's, he gets real loose right there. That probably contributed to spinning out. So I think he got really loose there, and he's way off pace, so he's like, alright, I guess I have to just be safe and come down here. And maybe contributing to the spin out is the fact that the rear tires were hot from that slide and then he just can't hold on to it. Understandable. It's tough. It really is. I still don't think maybe we needed a caution for that, but oh well, we got it. <laughs> and it actually kind of helped us maybe. I don't know how, where we would have been if it went green. I don't know how it was going to turn out for us. Might have turned out even better, I don't know, but Turned out pretty pretty decent for me. Being able to get sixth was pretty good. So, second half of the race. Guess that was pretty much halfway in the race that, that occurred. Got Red Bull hitting the wall. And the Red Bull hitting the wall. Just broke and tearing barely little taps. So I was out a little bit more firm there. Let's get by some of these wall hits. Toll got it pretty good there, though. Oof. And didn't throw it in the trioval. Oh, this is where I was saying, like, that's not going to work, guys. So I was watching him from back here. I was like, oh boy, they're getting crazy. I didn't know at the time that it was a lap car. Yeah, lap car's kind of in an awkward position here. I think there's no reason for him to fight so hard on the outside. I think you need to back off here. If you're lap that many laps down, you got this big gap. There's no reason to be fighting along the outside like that. Just lift off and file in behind them. Because if you fight that hard, now what are you doing making it three wide on exit? That's pretty infuriating. And then the one is stuck behind him now. Five needs to work on his lap car skills, I think, because the one really got screwed over there. He was trying to make a pass, or maybe he was getting passed, I don't know, but he was fighting for second, and now he loses a spot because of all that. Six gets a wall a little bit. I like this paint scheme. 
I've seen it a couple times. It's got the 21, and it's making it look very Wood, wood Brothers-y. I don't know if that's what they were going for, but... I really like the colors, like that dark red, and then like the gold and black. I think that works. Just hold on, nothing. Just tiny little wall tips. Straight away, uh-oh. Whoa! Oh my god. Oh, that was the that was the final lap. Didn't know this happened at all. Oh. <laughs> so we'd already finished, I think. They're fighting hard uh, for what I assume is tenth here. So Eleven's driving in super hard, trying to hold on to it, using the very last bit of his tires, trying out there, and he, but he breaks loose. He hits the lip of the grass there, and he's just gunning it to make sure he gets across the line. And then, fortunately for him and Red Bull, there he comes across the track, right into his path. So that was a, that was an interesting little finish for that guy. I don't know. Maybe you could hit your brakes a little harder there. Like if this is me, I know I've got. No one close to me, because this guy's not even on the same lap. 14th back here, I got plenty of time. I see that guy doing that, I'm probably hitting my brakes before I even get here. Even though the race isn't over yet, I'm not going to lose any positions. And Maybe be on the brakes, be slow, find out where this guy ends up, instead of just kind of hoping he's not going to be in your path. But that's just, uh, that was just my thoughts about how to save yourself from an additional 4x for no reason. But I imagine that's probably... Just about it. Yeah, these are just guys messing around afterward, and your winner, the two, celebrating. So, all right, that's it. That's Texas, and be open. Got ourselves a top ten, almost a top five. And uh, hey, piloting our free, outdated setup to a sixth place when I'm uh, the fifth highest I getting in here. Hey, that's that's plenty good. That's plenty good for me. Twenty uh twenty eight guys in here, so that's a that's a good day at the track. I appreciate you watching. I hope you enjoyed. I had a fun time, and uh, I will see you next time wherever they may be, somewhere else this week. Got lots of new stuff to explore, so I hope to see you there.